Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating and somewhat controversial chapter in the history of the automobile industry, the addition of lead to gasoline. Have you ever wondered why lead, a known toxic substance, was ever added to the fuel that powered cars? Well, buckle up, because we're about to explore the science, the industry, and the consequences behind this decision. To understand why lead was added to gasoline, we need to travel back to the early 20th century. The automobile was rapidly transforming from a luxury item to a necessity for the modern lifestyle. As more and more cars hit the road, manufacturers faced a significant challenge, engine knock. This phenomenon, also known as pinging or pre-detonation, occurs when fuel combusts prematurely in the engine cylinder, leading to a knocking sound reduced performance and potential engine damage. Engine knock was not just a minor inconvenience, it was a major engineering problem. Early internal combustion engines were not as refined as today's high-tech powerhouses. They operated at lower compression ratios to avoid knock, but this also meant lower efficiency and power output. Engineers and scientists were on the lookout for a solution that would allow higher compression ratios without the detrimental effects of knocking. Enter Thomas Midgley Jr. and Charles Kettering from General Motors. These two men would play pivotal roles in the search for a solution. Midgley, a mechanical engineer and chemist, and Kettering, a famed inventor and head of GM's research division, embarked on an extensive research project to find an additive that could prevent engine knock. Their quest led them through numerous experiments with different substances, including iodine, aniline, and even melted butter. It was in 1921 that Midgley and his team discovered that tetraethyl lead, TL, was remarkably effective in preventing knock. TL was a compound that, when added to gasoline in small amounts, significantly improved the fuel's octane rating. This allowed engines to run at higher compression ratios, increasing power and efficiency without the risk of knocking. The discovery seemed like a breakthrough that could propel automotive technology forward. The advantages of leaded gasoline were immediately apparent. Higher compression ratios meant that engines could be designed to be more powerful and fuel efficient. This was a big win for both car manufacturers and consumers who wanted faster, more reliable vehicles. The addition of lead to gasoline quickly became standard practice. By the mid-1920s, leaded gasoline was being sold at service stations across the United States and soon after, around the world. However, the story of leaded gasoline is not just one of scientific discovery and industrial triumph. It's also a story of ignored warnings and public health consequences. From the very beginning, there were signs that Tell was dangerous. Workers at the plants where Teal was manufactured suffered from lead poisoning, with many experiencing severe neurological symptoms and some even dying. Despite these warnings, the economic benefits of leaded gasoline were too significant for the industry to ignore. For decades, Leaded gasoline powered millions of vehicles, contributing to the development of modern transportation. However, the environmental and health impacts of lead pollution began to surface more prominently as the years went by. Lead is a potent neurotoxin, and its accumulation in the environment posed serious risks to public health, particularly affecting children's brain development and causing a range of other health issues. By the 1970s, the negative effects of leaded gasoline were undeniable, and public pressure for change grew. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, began to phase out leaded gasoline, culminating in a complete ban by the mid-1990s. Other countries followed suit, and today, leaded gasoline is largely a thing of the past. 
The phase-out of leaded gasoline is considered one of the major public health successes of the 20th century. As we've explored, the addition of lead to gasoline was a solution born out of necessity and innovation. It addressed a significant technical challenge of the early automotive industry and helped propel the growth of motorized transportation. The promise of improved engine performance and efficiency was undeniable, and for a time, it seemed like leaded gasoline was a perfect solution. However, the story of leaded gasoline is also a poignant example of how technological advancements can sometimes come with unforeseen and serious consequences. The detrimental health and environmental impacts of leaded gasoline were not immediately apparent to the general public, but as the evidence mounted, it became clear that the costs were far too high. Lead poisoning and environmental contamination had far-reaching effects, impacting millions of lives and ecosystems around the globe. Looking ahead, the lessons learned from the era of leaded gasoline continue to inform our approach to new technologies and fuels. Today, the automotive industry is undergoing another transformation with the rise of electric vehicles and alternative fuels. As we embrace these new technologies, it's essential to keep sustainability and health at the forefront of our innovations. By doing so, we can ensure that progress truly benefits society in a comprehensive and enduring manner. So, why was lead added to gasoline in the early days of automobiles? The answer lies in a complex interplay of technological needs, economic incentives, and scientific discovery. While it offered a solution to a pressing problem of its time, it also serves as a cautionary tale about the importance of thorough scientific scrutiny and ethical responsibility in the pursuit of progress. Thank you once again for joining us on this journey through history. We hope you found this exploration both informative and thought-provoking. Until next time, drive safe. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.